Good morning, and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today, I've got a whole pile of Papa Deuce, and Sage is sitting on Buddy's bed. Do you know, we, not last night, but the night before, we decided, because he just lays there while we're watching TV, and so we just left him there. He doesn't leave that bed. He doesn't try to come in the other room. Nothing, he sleeps there all night. Even when I get up in the middle of the night, he's still right there. <laughs> and this morning, Michael invited him back to um, come in the bedroom, but he was like, no, I'm good. Anyways, good boy. I just wish I didn't have to drive 10 hours to get him to his new forever home, but he's worth it. Huh, buddy? Yes. Plays ball and frisbee, and oh my goodness, he loves it. So I gotta get some, open these blinds. And I've got a Zacon pickup this morning. And I apologize for not having a vlog yesterday, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm getting old, I guess, because <laughs> those grandbabies are a lot of work. We had a great day, and I'll show you a little clip of us on our way to Walmart, and I, that's when I was starting my vlog. But I just, I couldn't, I couldn't vlog the rest of the day. We came home, we had to play. You gotta play. We had to do motor home playtime. We had to help Papa Mike and Uncle Rob uh, clean up and get some of Dad's stuff put away. And, <laughs> and Griffin was working that big wheelbarrow. Anyway, um, I just, there was no vlog time. And then I had to make dinner for everybody. We had wings and I made a really yummy pasta salad with ditalini. <laughs> and, um, it was good. And the boys, of course, they, they had a quesadilla and some fruit and some salad if they wanted it. There's, you know what, spoil those grandbabies. And so, today the weather's a whole lot different. It's already windy and it's only going to be a high 55. So I'm wearing jeans and boots and I've got, I'm going to pick up Zaycon. In fact, I have to leave here in five minutes. Pick up Zaycon. Let me go get my purse. Um, oh, buddy. He's a side. I'm a good boy. Yes. I, I got him on a diet because he's chubby. I put him, he only gets like two handfuls of food in the morning and at night. And I don't give him any treats. Um, just getting off the people food, I think will help him a bunch because dad spoiled him the wrong way. <laughs> I love my father-in-law. So no, no, um, I, I just know that he, he was spoiling him with, and that's the way he showed him how he loved him. So I tried to give him a carrot and he was like, I don't know about carrots. So <laughs> anyways, and that's just, that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, you know what? I, we did wings last night. And so I cut all the wing tips off the wings and the dogs got to eat them. Sometimes I save them and put them back in the freezer for stock. Um, but on this occasion, they all got wing tips um, because they can have raw chicken and um, the bones don't splinter. So he got to have one of those. But everybody got to have one. Actually, the other dogs got to have a few because it took him a while to eat it. It was funny. But it's good for their teeth too to do get some of that natural um, bone in their diet because... That's, you know, it's more of a natural food. I, I don't mind if my dogs have a kind of a raw diet um, once in a while, make it a totally raw diet, like raw veggies and meat. Um, it's good for them. Okay, so, and my dogs are extremely healthy. If you ever wanna see uh, a raw diet day for the dogs, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll bring you along for that. So. My hair's a little straighter today. I just did it straight. I told Michael, I said, well, I can hold it in the wind because if I let it go windy, it'll be a stringy mess within a half hour. <laughs> so, okay, so we're gonna go pick up Zacon. Maybe I'll bring you along for that. And then I've got a hair appointment um, this morning, which I normally don't work Mondays, but um, if somebody needs in, I go ahead. And, oh, I've got exciting news, okay. So the grandbabies and I were talking to Michael and I, and Michael says, I think you should get some chickens. And I said, yeah, I've been, 
you know, everybody thinks I should, and I do miss the eggs. The only eggs I like close to fresh homegrown chicken eggs has um, been the pasture eggs uh, from, what are you guys doing? Are you, uh, 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 uh. Shotzi is so hormonal right now. She got, she got iffy with sage yesterday. You're going in the big kennel. Um, now she's kind of giving Buddy the what for. Anyways, the pasture eggs are good. The, they come, the happy eggs or whatever they call them. But we're gonna get baby chicks. And I think that the boys, all three grandbaby boys should go with us to pick them out. And then they can name their chick. And what did, what did, I can't remember what Griffin said. He wanted to name his, but it was funny because I said, well, we better get a red one. I don't remember what he said, but the boys want to do that. So, of course, not this weekend because we'll be going to Portland or to Bay. Uh, now we're going to meet in Medford. Um, so not this weekend, but the following weekend or the weekend after. I didn't want to commit to because what if I'm exhausted <laughs> or we're moving? You know, we gave 30 days notice for dad's place. So all that stuff has to be moved by then. So we may have a busy weekend there. And anyway, I know I'm jabbing along here. Let's go get some Zacon. Want to? <laughs> okay, so I'm home. I'm home from work. I'm home from Zacon, all those good things. And uh, before work, I thought I had less time than I did. Before work, I was able to run over to Walmart and grab my prescriptions. I get 90 days at a time. And I needed some new gardening tools because the rubbery grip ones that have that softer grip, Ragnar chews them. And if you've ever had a dog chew one of those up, you have to wrap it with duct tape because now it's sticky and it sticks to your hand. I don't know what his fetish is with that kind of stuff, but these don't have that, so I'm hoping, they've got a nice grip handle. I'm replacing my uh, spade and my, my hoe rake thing. And I bought two spades because my grandbabies love to dig. And so they won't have to have duct taped tools anymore. I'm gonna toss those other two and we'll have these. And hopefully we can keep these intact for a season. And then, I love this. I bought this galvanized um, little, it's for silverware, and, you know, when you're having a barbecue and you can put napkins and spoons and forks and knives and condiments and it'll keep it all in one place on your table, out on the patio table. So I got one of those. It was $10 and um, I love the galvanized look. So I hate it that they put labels on your stuff put a tag on it because now I got to get the goo gone on there and get that off <laughs> anyways um, that's done I, I stopped at Rayleigh's because I also had to go to the beauty supply and Rayleigh's is right there in the same shopping center so I stopped and because I was like okay let's see what they have on sale and I needed turmeric so I bought some turmeric and fresh ginger so here's my turmeric and fresh ginger and um, some fresh parsley. I have a little bit out in the garden, but not enough for what I need. And they had sweet Vidalia onions on sale and they just, oh, I love Vidalia onions. So I decided this is what I did. They had top round or London broil on sale and I had the butcher slice this across the top of the hunk of meat. So I'm going to make beef brajol, and if you haven't seen my video on that, I have a tutorial video on beef brajol. So I will try to leave an eye card above for that. It's delicious, and I'm going to make that. Um, I'm probably going to make enough to take over. I might make enough to take over to Robert and Heidi's, or this will be a special dinner when we have them over here. It would just be served with gluten-free pasta. So. Um, and then they have some of the best free range chickens and these are USDA uh, certified organic and they're free range and they're smaller because in reality free range chickens, they're not big mammoth birds.
they don't um, I don't think these are the Cornish cross because they don't uh, they don't get giant so they're delicious I'm gonna make a pot of chicken and dumplings for tonight and then I'll make or I'll make homemade noodles maybe that's what I'll do chicken and homemade noodles soup and then um, it'll be warm and comforting oh, love 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 and I'm gonna put a Vidalia onion in there some parsley some ginger and lemon I always do that in my chicken soup organic carrots and organic celery so everything in the soup is going to be organic because I bought all organic today vegetables except for the turmeric and the ginger they're not certified organic so um, but that's okay because I'm going to peel that ginger and so the, I'm going to get my soup on here in a while and I'm going to package this uh, meat up I bought it was $3.99 a pound and it's one of my favorite places to purchase beef from because it actually has flavor. Uh, let's see, how many pounds was that? Three, 3.1 pounds, so it was $12. All right, and the chicken was $2.49 a pound for organic range free, and I don't think that's bad. Costco carries an organic chicken, but I don't believe it's range free. Um, I'm gonna check next time I'm there because I'll tell you, if you don't get good quality chicken, it doesn't taste like anything. So spend the money and this will make several meals for us. And Buddy's looking at me like, hey, save those bones. <laughs> huh? Oh, Buddy. Oh, he says, I'm so excited I get a new home, huh? But I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you any treats, no fatty treats for the chubby guy. No, somebody already loved you, chubby. <laughs> yes, okay. And my daughter is super excited about getting him. Oh, buddy. Yes, sir. He's a good boy. Are you a good boy? Oh, he says, I'm just going to be, I want to be your happy guy. Huh? No, I don't think you should be on the counter, though. Ragnar does that. So strut. What is that? All right, you want to go outside? Oh, you should go outside. Okay, let's, let's go outside. Okay? I love it. Dogs just want to be close to you. Huh? Yeah. All right, let's go and I'll bring you along for something else. I think I need to make banana bread. I got some wonky bananas going on over there. <laughs> okay, so I have got, as you can see, mm, I've got my veggies all chopped up for my soup. Um, I decided on chicken and dumplings. That's one of our very favorites. And um, I've got celery and everything on this is organic. The mushrooms are organic. That's why they're so expensive. It, Costco. I didn't realize they were organic until the other day because I was like, I can't pay that. But honestly, I'd rather have them be organic. So I don't think they spray heavily anyway, but I have the mushrooms, carrots, celery, and then here I have some sliced up, as thin as I could slice it, ginger. That's I've got two secrets to my homemade chicken soup. Whether I do chicken and dumplings or chicken noodle, I put ginger and lemon. So I zested one whole lemon and I've got half of that lemon in here because there's still flavor in some of that rind but there's there's definitely flavor in the inside and then I juice the other half into it. So it just gives it a brightness. It doesn't make it lemon flavored at all and the chicken is almost done. The broth is so full of flavor. Now I've put that whole sweet Vidalia onion um, one of those Vidalia onions that I bought. Oh, yum. And I'm going to pull the chicken, let it cool so I can cut the meat, get the meat off the bones. And I'll take the bones. They are going to go in the freezer, okay? Um, and the next time I make bone broth, I'll pull them out. But the meat, I don't want it overcooked. Uh, so I'm going to take it off the bone and so it'll stay tender and juicy. I'll add my vegetables and then the meat goes in at the very end with the fresh parsley. Okay, so now I gotta make coffee. I've gotta get the dog's food all ready. And buddy, he's like, he's like hanging out with me. They're all in the house. Um, <laughs> they are all inside. It's so windy outside and you know, beings, I'm home. I don't think, I mean, they don't need to be out there. You'd think they were a pile of Shih Tzus, huh? I got one there. I don't know. Where's my, oh, you know what? We're missing one. I wonder where she is. Yeah, that's Strut. That's 
sage over there. Sage is over there. Let's go see if I can sneak on her. I bet she's in her crate or she's in the bed in my bedroom. There she is. Michelle Tews her. She said, I'm gonna take the comfy cozy bed. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and buddy, he's like, I'm following everybody around. <laughs> I I really do like this dog. And he's kind of a little guard dog. I accidentally didn't let the back door latch when I brought them in, and the wind blew it open and he growled. I think he would have barked if somebody had been there. Because he was not expecting that. Shotzi, do you need to go outside? Come on, you're getting right in his bubble. Stay out of the bubble. Do you want to go outside? Go pee pee poo? Yeah. <laughs> Does your voice change when you talk to your dogs? <laughs> I can't help it. My papa deuce. Okay, everybody out. Go on. Good boy. Ragnar, you want out? They're all going out without you. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Should I? Okay, so I still have to come out here and water. But all my stuff is uh, still alive. It is just windy. Okay, look at him play by himself. <laughs> That's so awesome. He, I think I'm gonna take that tire. It's got a rope and a tire on it and he just slings it around. Uh, you'd think it would hurt. <laughs> I gotta send my daughter this. You'd think it would hurt, but he loves it. Yeah, get it. He growls at it and carries on. He's, he's used to having to play by himself, so I think that's why he does it. But he cracks me up. I was trying to get this on film for her yesterday. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Get it, buddy. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go, go get it. Go on, go get it. You play with it. Okay, hold on. Watch out, don't let it hit you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you want me to throw it again? Okay, hold on. Let me throw it. Oh, okay. Watch out. Sorry. I can't I can't navigate. <laughs> Okay, so next on my list of things to do, um, I took the chicken out and it wasn't quite done. So I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know, even though it's a smaller bird than I'm used to, they don't um, plump it up with extra juices and all that. I don't know, it, it's taking longer than normal, but that's okay. I'd rather it be done. And um, I did put one piece of my dehydrated broccoli which is just super, I'm just loving it. One piece of broccoli in there. And I did, I also put dehydrated kale. When I opened this jar, this kale sucked all the way up and just went crazy in there. So the kale's in the soup, but I, I wanna reseal these jars so they stay um, nice. And I wouldn't mind having another thing of kale. I, I try to, Keep that on hand. The vacuum sealer is really easy to use. Um, I've already sealed a bunch of ours. It's got a attachment for wide mouth or narrow mouth. Um, this is the wide mouth. And I lock my food saver down and turn it on. Let it seal. So as soon as it seals, it will shut off. It's getting ready. <laughs> if there's a lot of air in the jar, it takes a while. Okay, hold on. Wait for it. Here it comes. Woo! Okay, and then over here where you lock it down, go ahead and release that. And you can hear the lid pop down. So, you take your, take this off. You can pick it up by the lid. It's all sealed, everything, and it's ready for storage. And I, I don't worry about it until I know I'm not going to use the stuff for a while. And the kale, I'm probably not going to use for a while. These potatoes, I want to make sure my jars of potatoes are, because I don't use them very often. 
Um, and it's easy to bring this out. I have it stored in the pantry, bring it out, and set it up, and this goes back on my shelf. And now, uh, because this jar of potatoes, and these were potatoes that I did, it's not sealed. Where is it? No, it's not sealed. Potatoes are still really dry. It looks great. We're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to wipe this lid off because it's a little dusty and uh, get the rest of this stuff sealed up and put in my cabinet. And um, then I don't have to think about it for a while. And I love having this stuff on the shelf. So I'm rehydrating one piece of broccoli so I can show you how well it rehydrates. And then we're going to probably close the video because I've been just yakety yakety yak. Okay, so I'm gonna close out the video for tonight. Michael went to the hospital to see his dad and um, I've been out there playing with the dog so I'm out of breath, but he's a good catcher. <laughs> and he listens, um, so if I throw the toy for Shotzi, he, he stays back and waits for his turn. So that's good. Anyway, um, my chicken and dumplings is ready except for um, actually putting the dumplings on. So I told Michael, just text me when you're on your way home and I will, um, I will put them on. And so I had, I'm gonna, like, uh, I, I asked my daughter what kind of food she feeds her dogs, or her dog. And so she told me, so tomorrow I'm gonna pick it up so I can switch Buddy over and it's a grain-free diet, so I think that'll be better for him, too. I have really not given him much in the way of treats. He had a little wingtip, and he's had a strip of steak. I mean, like a little tiny one inch by quarter inch. Um, because I don't want him... He needs to lose the weight, and he will. I mean, he's active. He plays in the yard and runs around, but... Um, just not having the people food will be the best thing for him. And so I, I want to switch him over to that food, though, so he has an easy transition and doesn't go, mm, I don't want that, when he gets there. Because he'll have a couple of days to get used to it. I, it's taken him, I think, till, I want to say yesterday. He really feels like he fits in now, and he has no issues. <laughs> And I wish I didn't have to get rid of him, but that's okay. It's, it's, it is what it's, it is what it is. Five dogs is way over the top too many. There is no way. <laughs> so, um, four is too many. Three is kind of the limit, I think. I mean, I couldn't get rid of one of my dogs, but I'll never, ever have four again after one of them passes. And, um... Anyhow, so moving forward, uh, we are going to meet. I'm excited. Hopefully, we can all leave early enough that we can meet and have lunch. And, um, you know, hopefully that works out. If not, it doesn't. But if it does, that'll be great. We'll have lunch together and, and uh, then head back home. <clears throat> and my poor husband, all of his weekends are going to be filled with stuff that isn't really fun um, but he can't do a whole lot with that wrist yet so so tomorrow's a work day and I've got a girls day lunch to do and um, let's see what else is on the agenda tomorrow oh pick up that dog food I have to go to pet Petco Petco oh I don't know where there's a Petco I think that's gonna be in Reno I don't think we have one here in Sparks. I'll have to Google it. We have a Pet Smart, but we don't have a Pet Co. So I'll Google it. Oh, and so um, I'm going to be changing some of our eating habits because Michael's cholesterol came back and it's high. And I do, I mean, we've been taking red yeast, all kinds of good things to try to lower that. And I, I think we eat a pretty healthy diet, but... I can cut back in multiple areas, and that means in dairy, red meats. We don't eat a lot of red meat. In fact, the majority of the red meat that we eat is um, uh, 
elk or deer, but I have gotten some zacon, so I'm going to refrain from that. And I just bought lemon broil. Now that's very low fat, so that'll be a, a celebratory meal, or I'll make that for um, family. And anyways, so I've got to I've got to do some research and get him on a better a better diet because I don't want to I don't want to lose my husband. That would be horrible. I would be devastated. Ugh. So. If any of you guys have any helpful hints, you guys are awesome. You always help me out. In fact, I got a cookbook and I have not had a chance. I'm, I apologize. I have not had a chance to read the letters that came with. Um, I got some recipes and I, I also got a cookbook, a paleo cookbook, and a letter with that. And I haven't had a chance to sit down and read them because they're a little lengthy, which I love, but it's going to have to wait. So... You guys are always awesome about giving me good information. So I'm going to let you go. We'll see you tomorrow. Promise. And um, as always, guys, if you haven't checked the links below, go down there. Subscribe first and so you don't miss out on any videos. Hit that bell button. You get not notified whenever I upload. And go down in the About section. My mailing address is down there. My Facebook page. My Zacon Fresh link to go uh, sign up for free. My... Um, I think, oh, I've got a bunch of Amazon links of stuff that I use in the kitchen and around the house. And um, you can go shop. It doesn't cost you any more, but it helps our channel out. All right, guys. And don't forget to let me know in the about section, the dis in the comment section, about all the questions I ask you today. <laughs> there could be a test tomorrow. 